So this will be the first episode of the series I want to start. Uh, basically where I just look at clips I've gotten from playing Fall Guys and I will go over uh, you know what I do in each round that is in the clip. And uh, yeah, I hope this, that's good. But we're playing B Big E's Tour is the game mode I'm playing. First I always check the direction of that final plate there. They have much time to sew it, but depending on which direction it's spinning towards, I go along the uh, same side through the other or uh, other uh, obstacles in the level. So since it's spinning right, I go through the right side. And also, I like to go into the pockets every time a ball's coming down the area there. Most of the time, it is faster than getting ran over <laughs> from it. But as you can see, it's pretty fast to take that side. So now I'm going to take the big E. It's the first one I do mess up on. But the second one I do correctly. But this camo is really good if you know how to use the big E. It's pretty easy for me to win in it, so, uh, that's how I won this one. So now we're moving on to the next one, and it's Fruit Suit. So, every time I, uh, get into Fruit Suit, I always, just a normal, uh, main cell or this one, I always check for the big E's on the side. If you forget to look for them while you're first slowing in. Uh, why you go actually like um, down to the starting area you can also still look off the sides I recommend always using them if they're there and but before you jump make sure there's no fruit or basketballs or whatever will uh, be flying down there because that can really mess you up and if you jump somewhat regularly not like spamming on the cafes, but if you jump somewhat regularly, you can get a little bit of a speed boost. So then it's tiptoe, and some lots tips I can do uh, give you guys for this one. Uh, it's mainly just stay somewhat in the front of the uh, pack, uh, going through the path, and just not like directly in the front, but kind of like in the middle of the front. Best way to do it. I, at the start of the rounds, I always jump randomly to see if I can find a path or not, but I do not this time. But always follow people and always look for sinking tiles. That can really help you. That's what I got. I get first place in this one because I noticed that that tile shook to the right there, so I knew that it was to the right. So then I got first place pretty easy that way. And tilt tag. Which is just, <laughs> yeah, can be pretty frustrating. There isn't too many tactics to stop people from grabbing you. But, uh, best thing is to just, once you get a tail, just basically stay as mobile as possible. Unless you want to try and get on top of the poles, which is probably the best thing you can do. But, there's, but it's a little difficult, and I have never done it so far, so... What I normally do is I just get hit by the big E's just from side to side. Pretty good. So I lose my tail here, but then manage to grab it back from the same guy. And keep trying to get hit by the E's and get blown around by the fans and hit by the hammers. And it's basically the best thing you can do. Lose my tail again here, I believe. Yep, same guy. <laughs> So now this time takes a while to get another one. Yeah, okay. And keep getting hit around. <laughs> it's taken again. So if there's somebody running along the edges, you can just try to take a shorter route to get to them. Uh closer to the middle, but they might try to turn around, which you can't really do anything about. 
So I had to get one again. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Again there. Very stressful. Always the end of each round. I, I managed to uh, do it very, very close to losing at that time. So now we're going to Fall Mountain. And basically, in uh, the Big East game mode, you always get... Uh, it always kind of goes the same way. You get to 17 people, and it gives you tiptoe, and then you get down to 11, and then you get tail tag, and then you get down to 6, and then you go down to... Or you go to Fall Mountain. Every time it's always Fall Mountain in the final round. Uh, different variations, but there's always a big yeast, which is why I win uh, very often. And Fall Mountain, big yeast tour mode. So, getting the low gravity zones is pretty good because what I do is I jump on top of the obstacles, which can be very good if there's a ball going nearby. So this guy's in front of me, but I was pretty scared that he was going to actually be really good at using it, but he messed up. He does come there, but by the time he is, I already grabbed a crown. So, that's a pretty short video, but, uh, you know, hope to make this a series, so make sure to tell me, like, and comment if you want more, and, uh, see you next time.